Did you know that people with diabetes type 1 and type 2 have a higher risk of blindness than those without diabetes? Well, today, guys, we are going to talk all about eye complications related to diabetes and make sure you guys are watching because I am going to discuss what you can do and treatment options uh, for those of you that may have this complication and things that you can do to prevent this diabetic complications. So guys, welcome back to The Voice of Diabetes. This is Diana Butucci. And if you guessed that we're going to talk about diabetic retinopathy, you guessed right. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today because unfortunately we know that, as I mentioned, diabetics are at much higher rates uh, for developing eye complications due to the diabetes. What is diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy is the most common cause of blindness amongst those with diabetes. Unfortunately, diabetic retinopathy can be a completely asymptomatic initially, meaning you may not have any symptoms that you have diabetic retinopathy until it becomes, it progresses and it becomes worse. And we know that the worse that something gets, the harder it is to treat. And unfortunately, vision loss is irreversible, meaning you cannot reverse the damage that's already been done, especially when we're talking about the eyes. Although most people may not experience symptoms, some of the earlier signs of diabetic retinopathy are people may have change in their vision, they might have trouble reading or seeing objects that are far away. These changes can come and go, so sometimes patients attribute it to different things that may potentially be causing that until the diabetic retinopathy progresses and becomes worse. Later on in the disease, as the diabetic retinopathy progresses, the retina may start to bleed. If this happens, you may start to see dark floating spots or streaks that look like cowabs. It's very important to get treatment because without treatment this can progress, it can become worse and obviously cause permanent scarring behind the eye. Diabetic retinopathy can lead to more serious eye conditions. One of them is called diabetic macular edema. Blood vessels in the retina leak fluid into the macula, which is a part of the retina needed for sharp and central vision. This causes blurry vision. Another one is neovascular glaucoma, and diabetic retinopathy can cause the abnormal blood vessels to grow out of the retina and block fluid from draining out of the eye. Another one that's a very serious condition is called retinal detachment, scars to form, as I mentioned, in the back of your eye. When the scars pull your retina away from the back of the eye, it's called tractional retinal detachment, and unfortunately, this is a medical emergency that needs to be addressed immediately. Um, but the most important thing, as I mentioned, is actually preventing this, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. So anyone with diabetes is at risk for developing diabetic retinopathy people with type 1, people with type 2, and also with gestational diabetes are at risk for developing this complication. Why is it that diabetics are at higher risk for developing diabetic retinopathy? So diabetic retinopathy is caused by high blood sugars due to diabetes. As we know, diabetics have higher blood sugar levels than someone without diabetes. Over time, having too much sugar in your blood uh, can damage your retina. The part of your eye which detects light and sense signals to your brain through a nerve in the back of your eye called the optic nerve. So the blood sugar levels actually start to damage the optic nerve, which is um, obviously not a good thing. Our body tries to do is it, it creates new blood vessels that don't work well and these new blood vessels can leak or bleed very easily. For every diabetic no matter where they are in their diabetes, should have a comprehensive eye exam where they dilate the eyes and they can see in the back of the eyes if the diabetes is affecting the vision or not because treatment options are a lot more successful when we can detect things early versus later on um, when the patient already has so many um, more damage done to the eye and so much more scarring. Unfortunately, that is irreversible and this is why I always tell patients, you know, make sure you have a yearly eye exam and if the eye doctor needs to see you more obviously you follow the, their guidelines but at least one eye exam per year is absolutely mandatory for all of my patients and those are the recommendations for every diabetic in the United States uh, because the, unless you get the exam like I said sometimes 
it can be asymptomatic, meaning you have no symptoms. So how can you know that there is something going on if you don't get it examined? In the early stages, normally the eye doctor just keeps track and they, they really push the patients to manage their cholesterol levels, their blood glucose levels, so manage their diabetes, and also blood pressure management is crucial uh, for protecting the eyes and making sure that there's not you know, we're not doing more damage to the blood vessels. We cannot undo the damage that's been done. Usually treatment can delay the vision from getting worse. Normally when you are getting early treatment, they can slow the progression of it so that you can go on a much longer time with, with the vision that you have presently without further damaging your eyes. In addition to obviously controlling your blood, blood pressure, your blood glucose, and your cholesterol levels, um, some of the options are in injections. There's medicines called anti-VEGF drugs that can slow or reverse diabetic retinopathy. Um, so normally it's slow in the progression. I have a lot of patients who get these injections. Um, unfortunately, as I mentioned for the reasons mentioned earlier, some of my patients are also on laser treatment and that is to reduce swelling in your retina. And what they do is the eye doctors can use lasers to make the blood vessels shrink or stop leaking. So that is why it's so important for you to get your eyes checked because the eye doctors can intervene very quickly. They can either start the laser treatments or they can um, start the injections. And obviously eye surgery is also um, sometimes a last resort. This is if your retina is bleeding a lot or you have a lot of scarring in your eyes. Your surgery is called vitrectomy. Um, literally is when you have so much scarring behind the eyes and there's so much bleeding that they have to recommend this. It leads us to talking about the most important part about this and that is prevention. We always want to prevent and that is really what my channel is geared towards is educating and trying to improve people's quality of life and making them more knowledgeable and making all of you guys more knowledgeable about diabetes and how this disease affects literally every aspect of your body and even mind. So that's why, you know, prevention is key and the more you know, the more steps you can take to preventing um, diabetic retinopathy. So managing your diabetes is the absolute best way to preventing diabetic retinopathy. We know the stricter and the more tight we can keep the blood sugar levels, the um, we really reduce the chances of diabetic retinopathy from happening, which is what we want. Getting regular physical activity, eating healthy, and, and uh, really following up with your eye doctor on a regular basis are crucial. We know that exercise is important. Not only does it improve circulation and obviously lower blood pressure, lower blood sugar as well, but it also helps include cholesterol levels, which are very important for our, our health and our eye health as well. If you are a diabetic or pre-diabetic or you know a diabetic, you know, encouraging them to get a yearly eye exam or sharing this video will be very helpful uh, because they can know how important it is for them to maintain, um, for them to really, why they need to see an eye doctor on a regular basis and what can happen if they don't. And of course, we always want to make sure we're catching things as early as possible. There's an NIH funded research right now that's happening and they're looking at a medication called phenofibrate, which we use usually for cholesterol and they're trying to see if this can actually uh, prevent diabetic retinopathy from getting worse. So guys, there's a lot of exciting things, but to this day, you know, obviously prevention is key. So you want to make sure that you're doing everything on your end to try to prevent this from even happening. And that includes managing your blood sugars, managing your blood pressure and maintaining good cholesterol levels, and most importantly, always following up with your eye doctor at least once a year or more if needed. So I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. If you are, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribing to my channel, and uh, sharing this video with others. And please comment below and let me know your thoughts. Or if you have questions or topics that you want me to discuss, give me a feedback. That would be great. I will see you guys all next time. Take care.